Hello everyone and welcome to Occult Meme Review, the most popular occult themed meme review show on the internet. I'm your host, Magic Man, and uh, I really need to give you some context on what's going on here. Uh, some longtime Discord and subscribers, uh, or I should say Discord, active Discord people, have come forward and they brought up this idea a few weeks ago about doing an occult themed meme review, and uh, we went ahead and decided to pull the trigger on it. So here we are, a cult theme meme review, and they have sent in the memes themselves. I got over a hundred. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. We're gonna go through, and there are awards. Really quick, there are four basic awards, and there's a fifth secret award, which I'm not gonna tell you about. Actually, you're not gonna know any of them. All right, cool. We summon her at midnight. Vanilla scented candles. Coffee maker started. She appears eating a double stuffed Oreo. Checking her phone. <laughs> oh my gosh i kind of love that uh, it's funny because it actually follows like the same premise you know what i mean like if you look at like the goetic stuff the whole idea is like bringing things that people like okay so i know a lot of people might not get it. i mean no plenty of people will get this but so the thing is uh the cabalion is technically not like an antiquated hermetic text or anything like that you know it's much newer it's not totally in line with it i kind of tried at one point to take the corpus hermeticum and like brush through it in such a way to pinpoint like where these principles show up but it's still not hermetic especially later on in the book when it gets like a little dogmatic about some of its stuff it's really good <laughs> oh my god all right so i actually really like the basketball version of this i don't know if you've seen that but there's one where jesus got the ball out oh wait no i can see it there Never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I actually have the book of Abermel and the Mage, like a printed copy. Where's that? Yeah. Yeah, I like this thing. It's pretty dope. Uh, you can probably get this version for like five bucks off the internet. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Crowley was really into that, wasn't he? Everything was phallic. Dude loves his, uh, sex magic. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I like that. 6 out of 10. Crowley got a 7 out of 10, by the way. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty good. I love it. You gotta think outside the box, even in these terms. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know. I mean, I'm sure most people are gonna know EA Coetting. He's pretty popping on the internet uh, in this in this like niche community, uh, and that is his key phrase, or close to it. All right, <laughs> two out of ten. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, if, if you really look into it, depending on how your belief system works, this is pretty much spot on. This is good. This is pretty much, yeah, that's it. Hmm. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you can probably hear my voice is a little scratchy. I'm recovering right now. Chad, send thy angel she thick to place that ass upon these consecrated cards of art. And I'll make it. Okay. Wow, demonetized really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Book of thought. I love that. That's so good. 10 out of 10. No, I'm giving an award to this one. This gets a Maimonides out of 100. Fantastic. Oh, you're back. Uh, I was just working on my new book, How to Kill Your Channel with a Single Video. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is actually similar to the earlier tarot meme, that's so real. Uh, you, you, people definitely tend to go with who makes them the most comfortable. I like that. Catchy. 
<laughs> oh, I've seen this one. I actually love this joke too. <laughs> oh, that's good. Green, green emerald reward. That's it. I'm gonna make that one. Green emerald reward. Chaos emerald. That's what it is. <laughs> Facts. Facts of life. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love it. That's so good. I, I just like to imagine uh, in the future people are very poor at mechanics. So they just gather around. Like everyone's got like their, their secondary uh, like tech, tech robe. And they just like stand out there. Uh, you know, like the toaster goes down. So you bring it outside. You throw some dirt on it. And everyone's just... <laughs> Waiting for the toaster to work. <laughs> that is weird. Never really thought about that. That is pretty weird. Oh my gosh. Good moral lessons. See, that's what we're all about here at the Nimiton. Good moral lessons. I'm surprised we haven't seen more HP Lovecraft. I thought that was going to be really popular. I mean, then again, we're only, like, a minor fraction through all the memes that are on this page. It's been two days. <laughs> oh, co-wedding. Oh, dude! Wait, look at that! We... Ah, oh, it's not the same shirt? I'm guessing it's probably a different... Neck... Ah, oh, that's just weird. It just feels weird. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. I don't want to. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean. Mm. This gets a Kalethos from World of Warcraft. Congratulations, four out of ten. That's a really good hand-drawn circle, by the way. Like using your shoulder, you know, to make like a a good circle, which is doable, by the way. You know, use your rotator cuff. That's hmm, impressive. Yeah. The good old days, apparently. I don't know how to feel about this. Two out of ten. Dude, I see this on a lot of, like, New Age Facebook groups and stuff like that. Like, a lot. Uh, I mean, I guess it's good. The artwork is dope. Like, the face. That's awesome. Hmm, cool. Oh, Peppermint Butler! I Okay, so I never really got into this show or anything. But there's a scene of Peppermint Butler doing, like, a, uh... Ah, uh, gosh, it's, like, a very, like, Anakian-looking, very, like, classic, uh, Western occult practice, and it's in all the little characters there are very strange, and he's got the guy hanging by his foot from the ceiling, very similar to, like, The Fool, and a lot of, a lot of interesting little stuff in there. I, I wonder who writes Peppermint Butler... Uh, and there's another one where he goes through the, the folds of Horus. That's my dude. I like that. 10 out of 10 meme. Well, I guess it's not really a meme. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the human condition. What shall we do without thee? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I like that. 8 out of 10. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is morbid. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't, I don't do anything like this. It's not my style. Uh, I'm a little more normal, as you might have wag wagered. But, uh, good meme. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh gosh. But dude, Thelema is about to about to bludgeon someone with a double snake. I'm just, I'm digging this. This is real. I mean, this is the life, right? This is armchair magician. Oh, gosh. It, you know what's funny is some people don't even, like, opt to be that person. It just happens. It just shows up. It's not as cool as it used to be. Now we're just looking at a little laptop. No more meeting in, in fun places. In our special garb. Talking about weird stuff. 
<laughs> 9 out of 10. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> I hope that's real. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Oh yes, a light at the end of the tunnel. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Mm. This this gets a bubbling potion bottle out of four. What is going on? Okay, so let's break this down. So we have uh, a crystal ball. Let's go ahead and allude that to searching through the negatively existent spaces because of the skull. Um... No biases, so depolarized. Maybe that's how they're using the flag. Uh, robot head through the matrix uh, to the primordial foundations, uh, primordial waters from which the flowers bloom which is the interlocking web of reality because Halloween that's what I'm getting here thank you Buddha okay thank you Buddha <laughs> I don't get on r slash occult a whole lot anymore is that a thing I mean I'm gonna guess it's a thing I just don't really remember seeing anything like that people asked a lot about dreams and stuff that's about all I ever saw that's cute I like that. Very cool. This is just weed and and the sigil of Day of Mace from Anakian. Six out of ten. <laughs> Bible study. All right. That was amazing. Uh, we handed out some good awards. This video record is actually like over 40 minutes, and I'm going to have to go back and edit everything. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, my name is River. Thank you for joining me at the Nimiton. Uh, I mean, Magic Man, and I will see you next time.